How's Billam Ishtwan Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Today, on 14th August 2021, I, on behalf of the High Commission of Pakistan and all my colleagues, wish all our diaspora in Canada a very happy Independence Day. In this regard, certain events are also being held all over Canada. Uh, and in Ottawa also and I would urge all of you to fully participate as one nation in these events. On this occasion I have the honour to read out the messages of the President and Prime Minister of Pakistan. I, am reading, I will read out the message of the President of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Dr. Arif Alvi. Quote, I wish to share in the happiness of my fellow countrymen on the auspicious occasion of the 75th Independence Day of Pakistan. This day reminds us to pay rich tribute to the father of the nation, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and the leaders and workers of Pakistan movement who created a separate homeland for the Muslims of the Indian subcontinent. During this 70 years journey, Pakistan faced many challenges but it successfully overcame them with hard work, sacrifices and the support of the entire nation. Pakistanis are a brilliant and brave nation that has made tremendous success in various fields, making the country distinguished from other nations. The world must appreciate the fact that Pakistan singularly fought a long drawn war against terrorism and eventually defeated the menace. Similarly, the development of nuclear deterrence by Pakistan is a great achievement that has made the country's defense impregnable. Not to forget that Pakistan is a host to millions of Afghan refugees for many decades. Pakistan also won laurels worldwide for successfully handling the COVID-19 pandemic. For this great achievement, I pay homage to doctors and paramedics, religious leaders, media, national command and operation center, security forces and the entire nation whose cooperation made it possible to contain the spread of the COVID-19 virus. We have significantly improved all our macroeconomic indicators which now positively impact the lives of the masses. Despite these achievements, Pakistan is still facing many challenges on social and economic fronts such as an increasing population, lack of health and education facilities, stunted growth, malnutrition and various other diseases. It is encouraging to note that the government has taken certain steps for the empowerment of women and persons with disabilities by providing them loans and skills to make them financially independent. Additionally, the government has initiated various social welfare programs under the flagship ASAS program to provide education, health and financial assistance to the impoverished segments of society. However, we need to make more efforts for the facilitations and welfare of PWDs and the empowerment of women by ensuring the provision of their right to inheritance. On this Independence Day, we also reaffirm our commitment to continue our moral, political and diplomatic support to the cause of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. I assured my Kashmiri brethren that Pakistan would continue to stand by them till the achievement of their right to self-determination in accordance with the United Nations Security Council resolutions. I also urge the international community to play its role to compel India to stop committing human rights abuses against the innocent Muslims of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and fulfill its commitment to grant Kashmiris their right to self-determination. Let's pledge to follow the ideals of Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah and work for the unity and prosperity of Pakistan. May Allah be with us all. Ameen. Unquote. Now I have the honor of reading the message of the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Imran Khan, on the occasion of Independence Day of Pakistan, 14th August 2021. And I quote, as we hoist our national flag to mark Independence Day, we must reiterate the firm resolve to uphold our national values of unity, faith and discipline as envisioned by Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. 
we have surmounted monumental challenges during the course of our history to emerge as a united, peaceful and resilient nation. Even today, the changing regional dynamics along with some domestic issues continue to test our resolve. Like each time, we will also overcome these obstacles with our characteristic determination and come out stronger as a nation. Pakistan today can stand tall among the comity of nations. Our policies towards reviving the economy, handling the pandemic and protecting the environment have received universal acclaim. On this occasion, we should not forget our Kashmiri brothers and sisters in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, IIOJK, struggling for their right to self-determination under extremely adverse circumstances, marked by illegal Indian occupation and unspeakable repression. Pakistan will continue to extend its full support to the Kashmiris in their just cause. Kashmiris are looking up to the international community to fulfill the promises made to them. Pakistan has rendered immense sacrifices and paid a heavy price for instability on its western border. We have consistently stressed that there is no military solution to the conflict in Afghanistan. Pakistan will continue to support a negotiated political settlement for durable peace and stability in Afghanistan. We want peace within and peace without to pursue our social economic agenda. The Nea Pakistan has shifted its focus from geopolitics to geoeconomics, with the well-being and welfare of our people as the topmost priority. Our government has undertaken every possible effort for the development and prosperity of Pakistan. This country is undoubtedly a gift of Allah Almighty for us. I once again facilitate all Pakistanis, both inland and overseas, on this auspicious occasion. I urge you to play your part in making Pakistan a proud, prosperous and peaceful nation state." Unquote. Thank you.